So I was just doing the, um, I was dropping the sump on my 9.5 here, uh, two liter diesel. Uh, these are common to have oil pressure issues on the coal startups when they're getting older. And that's because of uh, diesel contamination, the fuel, which degrades one gasket in the whole engine that uh, causes this issue, which is very, very, it's a stupid design, but that's how it is. How it is. You have to deal with it, you know? So I just got the sump down here. So there's the sump, it has a little plastic insert here. I haven't taken it out yet, but I'm gonna remove the insert and the pickups, uh, pickup and clean them. Uh, and uh, here is the inside of the engine, you know, it's a common four cylinder engine. Um, nothing special about that. Uh, but there is the gasket right there. And if you look at that, uh, I don't know how well I can see that. There we go. Almost. I guess let's see if I get my hand around here. Here's the gasket. And uh, would you look at the condition of that thing? It's stone hard. Rock hard. You can see it even broke when I disassembled it. Uh, I just want to pick it with the screwdriver or something. Actually. Oh, <laughs> look, look at that. That just disintegrates when I pick at it. Holy. And that's just stuffed in there. So to get that out, I'm guessing I try to use a screwdriver or something, just pry it out of there. There you go. Be very, very careful with the mating surface. Yeah, <laughs> that's a gasket, you know, that's not supposed to sound like that. I mean, can I break it? I cannot break it with my hand. Let's see if I can break it with a hammer. Yeah, that disintegrates in pieces. So, I got in my glove box, try not to put my hands on too much stuff, stuff in here. There we go. Man, I missed this car. I've driven, been driving the, the old 900. Uh, that's that one. Let's see here. That's the oil filter. Where is the gasket? I guess it's hiding in here. Oh, or did she put it in here? Yeah, she did. My girlfriend put it inside the little box there for the oil filter. So here's the new gasket. Well, looks like a gasket, you know. And this, I'm guessing if I take it out of its assembly here, assembly, hold on. Packaging, yeah, this is OEM by the way, OEM gaskets, never pay for the cheap ones. Well, even this is kind of stiff, but at least it's pliable. And it also returns to its uh, factory position. So, new one. As I said, it's a very weird gas, it's very stiff. I don't know why they didn't just use the O-ring here, standard O-ring, with a little groove in it. Maybe this is to take up some tolerances when you apply gasket and stuff to the sump, I don't know. But, uh, there you go, it has this cap on it to protect it. There you go. So, what I'm going to do now, before I install anything, is clean up everything in there here. I'm going to clean up the mating surface. I gouged the mating surface on the engine block a little bit when trying to remove the sump. So I have to rub that down. Ugh. I'm guessing the all the rest of the gasket is in here somewhere. But I'm not gonna spare with that. Uh, 
This was a tedious job because I had to, you can see the exhaust bolts, two of them broke and the last one, I rounded off. So I took my cheap ass Railby like metal cutter and cut the bolt um, on the side, you know, uh, against the threads like this way, you know, uh, to kind of free up the slack. And I did a trick, also I used to just the Knipex here. These things, man, these are really, really good. This is the best, best uh, pliers I've ever had. Man, these are really good. Uh, they grip to anything, like anything. They will grip and they will not break. If you if you force them with more than just your hands, yeah, they will break. But just by using them by hand, these will not break. Really good. So I'm gonna, you can see here's the mini surface here. I uh, kind of attacked. So I have to make sure this is all flat, as well as on the engine block. Uh, and yeah, there is a pickup, there's a oil sensor here, and there is a pickup tube there. And, uh, or another pickup tube, that is the, um, that is the, um, uh, Man, what do you call it? That's the, um, I believe that's a cr crankcase ventilation return line, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and uh, yeah, the dipstick is somewhere. Yeah, I stick it down there. I didn't remove that. That's, that's my bad. I should have probably done that before I actually removed the sump. Just gonna pull that up so it's out of the way. I got the sump off anyway, I don't know. Um, hopefully it didn't damage the dipstick. I will find it out when I start to feel oil, oil on the engine. Okay, so now I'm gonna attack that one uh, with a 10 millimeter and a wrench and uh, see what happens. Well, well, it looks like underneath. If it's something extreme, I will get right back to you. If it's nothing extreme and just normal wear and tear, um, I'm not gonna come back to you, so. <laughs> Thanks for watching so far and uh, stay tuned for more content on this car. Uh, definitely not the last video, uh, that's for sure.